It's not that we have anything against Chipotle. Chipotle is a good thing to have when you're eating out. You know what, let's just go home and make our own because I feel like we can make better Chipotle bowls, better ingredients, bigger quantities of meat because they don't put enough meat in it. For this recipe, we're using pre-seasoned slow-cooked tri-tip beef, which was already cooked in the slow cooker for eight hours. We got some onions. So we're gonna throw those in the food processor. Sweet mini peppers. That may seem like a lot of garlic, but it's a lot of small ones. That's going in. Put the top on. Food processor we always use. Holds it so it doesn't get too, yeah. like, you don't want it to be a smoothie. A smoothie. A smoothie. Avocado oil. That should be good there. Saute this up for a few minutes. As you see, there's quite a bit in there. We're obviously not going to use all that, but that's what we always talk to you guys about. Cooked in bulk. Then you just throw it in the fridge into some Tupperware, and I'll have that in like my omelet the next morning. Okay, I just removed the tri-tip from the slow cookers. So that was slow cooking for like eight hours. So now I just take two forks, pull it apart. We interrupt this program for an important news announcement. You can now get access to all our workout programs, recipes, and meal plans inside our workout app. Try it for free today. Link in the description. Now let's get back to the episode. Chop the spinach. Yeah, you wanna make it like pretty small pieces. That way it's like easier to eat. Cause I don't know about you, but I don't like getting lettuce all up in my face. You just kind of bunch it together with one hand and then use the other hand to make like ribbons. Like you do pretty close together, like maybe quarter inch at a time and just slice it. Watch them fingers. Yeah. Next up, baby tomatoes. So I'm gonna make the dressing using this empty salad dressing bottle. And I'm putting two tablespoons of avocado oil in there first. Okay, one tablespoon of vinegar. I usually put two parts oil to one part vinegar. And then, this is homemade chimichurri. Yeah, chimichurri sauce. Basically just cilantro and parsley, salt and pepper. With olive oil, ground up herbs. Ooh. But that's just optional. Yeah. You don't need it. Also, I think we're gonna throw in some basil. We're putting those in because they're in the fridge and we don't want them to go to waste and they add a ton of flavor. But that's not to say if you don't have those that you can't make this recipe. All right, some salt and pepper. I have like probably a half of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so that goes in there. And so I'm gonna use some of this Dijon mustard and I'll put about one tablespoon of that also. So you just measure it out like that and then try to try to get it in. You can also just make this directly in your blender. This right here is what I'm making for us too. Then you dress your salad. Try to put a half on each. And these are your fajita vegetables like you'd get at Chipotle, but cooked in better oil. A lot of veggies. 90% of the bowl is vegetable already. And then you just add a slow cooker. There. Yeah, so I try to get like about four ounces of meat per meal. And then for Brad, that's like about six. Guacamole. You know, they charge you extra for guac at <laughs> Chipotle, which drives me up the wall when I don't get all the other ingredients. Just Hook me Substitute up with the guac. Substitute it, bro. Guac. I know. <laughs> if you're not gonna have cheese, you might as well get some guac. No cheese, right, no bro? beans, no rice. Give me some guac, bro. <laughs> Looks delicious, Bill. And there you go, guys. Chipotle bowl for two. So let's get ourselves some of the protein, some of the healthy fats. They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that could make sense. They hate when I keep dreaming of you.